Zell Boy Army, welcome to another video on the channel. For this one, we are doing the best position changes in FIFA. And by that, I mean we're looking at players who they can play the natural role very well, but they might even be better in another position or just are very good in other positions. So I'm going to show you all the different players that I've looked at. I've looked through every player for these positions, and I'm going to tell you what positions I think they could play. There is so many players that when I started making this video, I was going to do it in one video, but otherwise it ended up being like a 34 minute video. I'm going to do it in two parts. So today's video, the first part, is going to be looking at left backs, right backs, and centre backs, and some of the positions you can put these guys in. And the next one, we'll do midfielders and attackers. If there's too many of that, then I'll make it a free part. But for today, we're looking at the defenders, and there is a lot of very good ones in here. The main positions that you're going to be able to change these guys to generally are going to be fullback to centre back, fullback to CDM, or centre backs can maybe play CDM. There's a few exceptions though, we'll go through them. By position changes, I don't mean that you can play Florenzi starting in centre mid on the game in this bit and he gets full chemistry. I more mean when you go to your custom tactics and change your players. Uh, positions in the formation where you set up in game that they can play a different role for some of the positions like a left back like Maldini could be put at centre back to start there in game gives you the icon links there and he would still be on seven chemistry in game with loyalty and a manager but I'm more on about players who literally will start in their correct position and then in game you just move them about in the custom tactics but I'm just talking about players in this video who can play different roles. The first one then we're looking at, Maldini. Actually, we'll start We'll start from here and use our one to go across. Alfonso Davies, one of the very best left backs in the game right now. Arguably the best um, by Munich. This card's going to become crazy, but he's a crazy price at the moment. But now that he's had a few upgrades, I think this guy could play CDM. I wouldn't play him centre-back bit weak i still think he would be brilliant with his recovery speed and you could put a central on him but i'm more thinking this card's going to be um a cdm if you really want um some rapid pace covering there you could put and this might sound silly but a finisher on him he gets 89 finishing elite dribbling he's already got the defending his pace is great he's four star four star if you can make this guy work there he'll be an absolute animal Theo Hernandez, one of the very best centre-backs in the game, if you can get him there. You can start him on 7 chem because he has enough pace anyway. His free star, free star is not an issue at centre-back. Um, he'll be a very good ball-playing centre-back. He's got good passing. He's good building the ball. He's incredibly strong. You can put a sentinel on him. I know people have been playing him at centre-back, and he's a bit of an animal there. Akuna. I wish I'd done this guy, to be honest. They gave him a bigger upgrade than I expected, and he was only about 150k. He might be the best left-back in the game right now, all around. Other than um, Icons, I think he has the second highest total in-game stats right now. So that means all these attributes added up, because he's only got three yellow stats. I think this guy at CDM, if you can fit him in there, will be brilliant. Three-star weak foot's not the best, but the high, high work rate's a nice. Four-star skills is great. He can run all game with that stamina. He doesn't have a massive weakness. Yes, he's not clinical in front of goal. Again, if you really want to fix that, you could put a finisher. But I'd probably be putting him as an anchor and making him the ultimate destroyer in CDM. I think this guy's a bit of a beast. Maldini, left back to centre back. A lot of pros have done this, to be honest. Maldini already has great defending. Um, you'd maybe want to put an anchor on to get the physical, but then you could get a shadow to get make him elite pace. It's up to you, but this guy could play centre back. Adama Traore, what a beast. I did him on my road to glory. We hit a 30-0 with him this weekend. Left back to centre back is the role I would be playing him. I do think he could play CDM as well, but his weak foot is a bit of a liability. That's that's the issue really playing him at um, CDM. So I think his best position is either left back or centre back. He's a little bit small at centre-back, but his recovery speed, with an anchor you get a 9 out strength, his physicality is very, very good, and I really liked him. He's one of my favourite centre-backs I've used this year. Forenzi, 
With a shadow, still a pretty good fullback, but again, with the four star skill moves, it's pretty nice. Okay, weak foot, high high. He's a bit like a worse Akuda. Pretty good CDM. <clears throat> this Alberto, he'd be a very good CDM or centre back. You see, you know, there's a pattern. A lot of the fullbacks can play CDM or centre back. It's not necessarily saying you have to do this, but it just gives you more squad building options when you know some of these guys exist. I've tried to pick a variety of prices for you guys. Kyle Walker, this one for cheap teams, if you want a really quick centre back, you could literally put him. So Kyle Walker here, you can literally just put him there, starting as a centre back, and it will uh, he'll be on seven chem with easy links, and he's still a very good centre back for a cheap team. That's a very good option. This Tavernier again, if you can get him. In, he's not the easiest, but England players do link to him. He's one of the very best right backs in the game right now. I sub him on at CDM in game. Um, on both my road to glory and my um pro god squad account, he might be hard to get on chem to start, but he's a very good sub to bring on. And so some of these players, if you can't start them, they might be good players to bring on later in the game as subs. Mendy, the position change for this guy, he could play centre back bit weak, not the best defended. I would be looking more, you could play him at right back if you need to. Um, So you could start him at right back, get him on full chem. This Mendy is a very good option to have for that, in my opinion. Dumfries, centre back, one of the best centre back cards I've genuinely used this year when I played him there. Um, I played him at centre back on my Road to Glory account with a shadow. He gets 98 sprint speed. If you can get him on full chem, he's 6'2". He's very good on the ball because this is his rule breakers card that can dribble. Very, very good card um, and a very good price. And he gets a strong link to Van Bergen from the Erdivisie Foundation's objectives. Um, Atal. Unfortunately, this card didn't get the upgrade. That's a bit of a shame. Um, I really like him. I think he's an absolute beast. Um, I think that his best position probably is a cdm five star weak foot four star skills absolute beast card if he'd have got a few upgrades and um, these had gone far what a card he would have been um hopefully we'll get a few more upgrades like last year because his team season was crazy but i don't he hasn't added in form yet this year okay let's look at center backs so not as many here these center backs are all except for Kyle Walker going to be centre back to CDMs. This Carlos Alberto, a lot of these centre backs tend to more be the destroyer type players. They don't have the shooting a lot of the time. So these are going to be centre backs that you could convert to CDMs and make them destroyers. Alberto, very good for that. Well, there's one I forgot actually, I just realised. Uh, you're not a goalkeeper, Loafer. Yeah, this low for Mateus is one of the very best position change. I can't believe I missed him. Uh, so this guy, very good to swap around. Uh, he's got the pace. He can pass. He's not the best on the ball, but his defending physical is very nice. Alberto, similar card in some ways. Obviously not got the ability going forward. Rijkaard, actually not the worst shooting compared to some of the cards that you see at CDM. He's got good weak foot. Elite defending, good physical, um, not the quickest, but like if you want an icon chemistry, and for this as well, you can always start five back. And sometimes people have got these guys in SBCs or untradeable packs, it gives you a few more options. Casmiro is a CDM anyway. This card now is one of the very best CDMs in game. If you can get him there on a shadow, he'd have 99 interceptions, standing tackle, 93 sprint speed. He obviously is not very good going forward. He's a low, high, weak foot freestyle. like That just makes him not very good attacking. So he would be the destroyer, but he is a very, very good one. Not that cheap, though. Now, this Alaba, if Bayern Munich go far in the Champions League, which they definitely could, in my eyes, like this card could get to a 92, 93. He's already a good centre-back. With four-star weak foot, he is a very, very good CDM. And some of the swaps you can do, what I want you to think about as you look for all the different options I give you in this series of videos is some of the position swaps you can do. So Alaba could go to a CDM. And in the next video, one of the big position swaps people like to do is Zakaria to centre-back. Zakaria's road to the finals in 86, I think. So you could put him at centre-back 
and then put Alibert CDM. So look at these different swaps to think some of the best ways you can utilize your team. That's a carry at centre back. He's an absolute animal. Whereas this Alaba's good, but he's not the physically the best. He's not really quick. So it's CDM where his passing um, ability on the ball coming probably gets the best out of him. Kyle Walker, this is one you could always put right back. You could put Tavernier at centre back because he's got more physical and put this Kyle Walker back to right back. And then Delaney, this guy's a very good CDM. He's got the weak foot. Um, he's got elite defending, good physical, not bad passing. He's okay on the ball, and he can actually shoot. But he's not that quick, so he's probably going to be a better CDM. I don't get this one either, by the way. How does he have 80 pace with 79 and 79? Do you just, like, make it up? Like, I don't get it. Anyway, that's part one. The centre-backs, right-backs, and left-backs. Obviously, goalkeepers, the no-position swaps for them. To be fair, on FIFA 19, that Nick Pope would have been a good striker being six foot seven. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Tomorrow's video is probably going to be a look at what I think the team of the year is going to be. Talk a bit about that. We'll also look at the headliner promo. Appreciate you guys' support of the channel. Hope you have a happy new year. Enjoy your night. Have a good one. Peace.